All right, so you guys liked when I did a little practical print video last time. This is gonna be a little more off the cuff because I just want to get it done. Um, but so these are parts I found on Colts 3D. This is to actually mount my cable modem into my server rack. So I have a full rack downstairs that it's got our server and all of our other network equipment here. And you can see here it's got a little keystone jack. Um, so I have one of these, I'm gonna pop one in here, um, which will then go from the back of the modem to here so I can connect up to my router. And these little wings bolt onto here on the sides. Now it looks like these take the same kind of screws that we use for LCD kits. I'm gonna go steal some from the shop and then I'm gonna put this together and record getting it all in the rack. So let's get to it. Okay, so this here has a keystone knockout here. And if you guys don't know what those are, this is just a standard that people use for wall plates. And this is nice because I can just take this, put this in here and snap it in. And just like that, I've got my ethernet jack. So this little cable I crimped here will go from this jack to the front of my router, which is right down here. And then this other cable here that I already had, this is gonna go to the back of the modem. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw these wings to the side here. And it just so happens that this uses the same kind of screws that we use on our LCD kits. So I already had these on hand. These are just little half inch number four wood screws. And that side's on. I'm gonna do the other wing. Okay, so the whole piece is done. Now we need to take our modem and put it in here. Now before we take the modem and put it in here, we actually have to remove the foot. If you notice, there's two holes here, and these are to go into the bottom of the modem. So we're gonna go over to the rack and pull the modem, and I'm gonna take the foot off. I'm gonna disconnect my old cable here. And if you guys also notice, there's a shelf here. I'm gonna be replacing this shelf with this mount. So let's go ahead and get that out. And I will have to disconnect some cables here. Luckily, everything's labeled. Awesome. Now this rack, this rack mount will actually not take up these two full spots. So I'll still be able to pass these cables here through like they were. These are actually up points for my server. And then these are for switches, but we'll reconnect those later. I'll put my 10 gig link between the two switches back in. And now let's get the modem set up. Okay, so now we gotta find the screws. Now the easiest way to find screws hidden under labels, if they are, which is what people said online, is run your finger and you'll feel an indent. So I feel one here and I feel one here. So I'm just gonna take my screwdriver and sure enough, look at that, it goes right into the screw. And do over here too. And this foot, oh look at that, it comes right off. Now I'm gonna reuse the screws from here to mount this into the rack adapter. So I'm going to push these through the label and I'm going to save this foot in case I, I need it. It's got my MAC address on here for the modem. But now you can see here we have the modem off the foot so this will fit flush in here. We'll slide this into the adapter just like this. And it's a tight fit. It says it's for this modem. I'm assuming it is. All right, there we go. Just 
got to work it in there. And the screw holes do seem to line up correctly, so I'm going to go ahead and put these two screws in here. And then we're going to go ahead and rack it. And that bit in. There's another one here. Make sure it's all the way in. You can see it's sitting flush on the adapter. So now the modem is in the adapter here. You can see we have all our status light. This actually looks pretty nice. I did this in, I think this is a cobalt blue, or actually no, this is a navy blue from Coex. It was a roll I had laying around, so I wanted to use it up. So now I need to connect this from here to, god damn it. Yeah, the cable's too short. All right, we're gonna have to make a new cable. Okay, so I took the cable I had on there, cut it, and made it shorter, because I don't want to have a bunch of cable coiled up here. We're redoing this rack. I want it to look nice. So you can see here, we got this all mounted up. We got our ethernet run. We'll hook the coax back up in the power, and then we're gonna put this in the rack. All right, so I've got my coax coming from Comcast. Put our power in. And go ahead and put this in the rack. And it looks like uh, the holes will actually line up perfectly where my shelf was using. So you can see here, this is a little bigger than one U, which is fine because like I said here, these are cables going to my server there down there, and this one is as well, and this is the 10 gig connect. So let me go ahead and put the screws in. Looks like these holes are a little bit off, so I'm gonna loosen this right side up so it can shift on the other side. I'll tighten them all down once they're all in. And I actually like leaving the space above and below this because this will give airflow to the modem. You don't want to have it sandwiched between two pieces of equipment. So it's good that this is actually a bigger than one U design. All right, so all I have to do is go get my little cable I made to go from the Keystone Jack here to my uh, little SFP to copper. So I'm gonna go grab that. And my modem came back up, just waiting for ethernet. So I'll plug that in. And hopefully if I crimp my cable correctly, we'll come right online. Let's see. And there we go. So we got our network on. I think that looks a lot better. What do you guys think? What do you think, Krista? Looks good. All right. Let's go ahead and reconnect our patches here. Uh, this one's going to my living room one which I labeled here, look at that, I like using labels. So I know that's port two, and the theater cabinet goes to port one. All right, so we got the modem installed. We got our little patch cable in. Looks a lot cleaner. I like having everything racked if I can, but a lot of these like home devices, they don't have rack mount stuff. So 3D printing to the rescue, we got everything racked, and now we're all set. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. There we go. So now it's all rack mounted. Hang on. Cut.